I'll rise for the jury. At this point, we're going to commence the second phase of this case. As you recall, when we talked originally in this case, when you were prospective jurors, we told you about the fact that this case could potentially proceed into two phases. The first phase would be the trial phase, which you have completed. You have rendered your verdict in that phase. We're now going to proceed with the second phase. So members of the jury, you have heard the evidence and the arguments of counsel. It's now my duty to instruct you on the law applicable to this portion of the trial. In general, the same legal rules you were given last week during the trial phase of this case apply again in this second mitigation phase. As in the first phase of the trial, your function is to listen to all the evidence and fairly consider it, and then decide the disputed questions of fact and more specifically, what sentence should be imposed. You are the sole judges of the facts, the credibility of the witnesses, and the weight of the evidence. The second phase of trial is intended to focus your attention upon aggravating circumstances that you and the court have already found were proven in the first phase, balanced against any and all mitigating factors. There is an additional aggravating circumstance for your consideration which was found by the court. Uh, this is specification one to counts one, three, five, seven, and nine. <clears throat> the additional aggravating circumstance found by the court is that prior to the offense in this case, Anthony Parton was convicted of an offense, an essential element of which was the purposeful killing of or attempt to kill another person. <clears throat> the goal of this proceeding is for you to work through a fair review of the evidence and reach just verdicts on the appropriate sentences for the specifications for counts one, three, five, seven, and nine. <coughs> the phrase aggravating circumstances and mitigation, mitigating factors have distinct legal meaning. As a preliminary matter, the word mitigation generally means to make less severe, less compelling, or less intent. The, mitigating fa the mitigation phase of a trial like this one is, is intended to allow each of you to consider all the evidence and whether there are any factors that reduce the degree of moral culpability and thereby may justify a punishment that is not the most severe otherwise allowed by law. If the state has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the aggravating circumstances outweigh the mitigating factor, <coughs> factors, then you shall return verdicts of death. For you to decide that a sentence of death should be imposed, the state must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the aggravating circumstances of which he was found guilty outweigh the factors in mitigation of imposing a death sentence. A defendant has the burden to go forward with evidence of mitigating factors, but the ultimate burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt is upon the state in this sentencing phase. The state has the burden of proving that the aggravating circumstances outweigh the mitigating factors beyond a reasonable doubt. Okay, the process is as follows. Uh, the state and the defense will make opening statements. The state will resubmit evidence and exhibits from the first phase. The defendant will present evidence and the state presents any rebuttal. We will then move to closing arguments uh, which will follow from the state uh, and from the defense. <laughs> 